hello my dear students friends uh, once more i am here with you and this is sara viji with online classes for don bosco high secondary school professor classes 9 10 and we're in spreadsheet session 12 and this is the last session and in this session we will discuss about sharing worksheet data so <coughs> uh, in the uh, in the version in the advanced version of microsoft excel uh, it has offered a feature where you can give other users access uh, to the same document and allow them to edit the workbook simultaneously it means uh, you see this workbook the name of this workbook is book one now suppose some more names comes here okay so here like i am typing alone fine so this feature of microsoft excel sharing worksheet data this feature will allow many users like me another 10 people can use this workbook at a time simultaneously are you getting me see please listen once more the same this workbook the same workbook at a time right now i am using this workbook now with the help of this feature the same workbook can be used by other 10 people's simultaneously in same time okay which they will, which saves uh, it will it will save us from lots of trouble of keeping track of multiple versions okay this simultaneous editing and real-time commenting with others gives us a feeling or it will give you a feeling that if you are across the table with each other even if you are a uh, miles apart okay the workbook can be saved to a network location where others can opt it and uh, as well as we can keep track of the changes that other people's make and accept or reject those changes as desired okay that is that is about that is all about sharing worksheet data this workbook or this worksheet will be shared among a group and this group can work in with this worksheet at a time in same time simultaneously uh, and can save it can manipulate it can edit it okay and uh, generally uh, these types of things we do with google sheet if you just go uh, in google and type google sheet you will get the details description of google sheet what happens in google sheet so what we do exactly in google sheet uh, the same feature is added in microsoft excel okay same feature is added in microsoft excel in google sheet also we did the same thing we create one worksheet and this worksheet is shared with hundreds of peoples and the hundred peoples can use the same worksheet and can enter their data there input their values there and save their data and information records and uh, it goes finally as a report to uh, to the concerned team or to the concerned person so let's do it here how can we do it here for doing this for doing this we have to click in the review tab uh, see one more important thing that this require uh, network connectivity this require network connectivity so my laptop is a standalone machine now i am not connected to, to any network so when we are connected to network then only uh, like uh, in our smart class in our knowledge center smart class if we do this then this sharing is uh, you can use this sharing and practically you can see that this sharing is working the sharing is functioning so right now here i will just teach you how can you set the option or how can you uh, apply it okay so just go to review tab and click in uh, share workbook you can see here share workbook these are the three options share workbook click here in share workbook and you see we have two tabs here one is editing tab and the other one is advanced tab just click in editing already we are in editing tab just select this option in this option it is said allow changes by more than one user at a time this also allow workbook merging okay and click and then after that you can go to advance in advanced tabs there are so many options here again track changes okay it is written here keep change history update changes when the file is saved 
collecting changes between users ask me which changes which changes win and these are the various options you can set for sharing your uh, worksheet or workbook and for keeping a for tracking the change or for keeping uh, or for tracking any type of modification or manipulations and then just to finalize it click ok and it will ask us that uh, you want to save it yes I want to save it once I save it just check in my title bar check in my title bar with the book one the shared message also or the shared option has also come in the title bar along with the book one along with the name of the file the name of the file is book one dot xls and along with it the shared option has also come here so now the book one is ready for sharing this book one is ready to go to the network now and this book one can be used by uh, so many so many people at a time okay so this is all about session 12 and that is the end of spreadsheet and uh, all together I have given you 14 lectures to complete the worksheets 14 videos 14 lectures 14 videos it means 14 lectures to complete the spreadsheet and the various options of the spreadsheet from simple to advanced okay and that is not the end of spreadsheet believe me we have more than that in spreadsheet you cannot imagine it is beyond beyond the scope of this syllabus so in future if we get chance we will learn again together so god bless you all very soon i'll be declaring the date for the test that i will conduct and i will pass every information through email so keep on checking your email address okay thank you all so much god bless you all